All right, today we are going to make a cube. So um, I would measure to the center, so half of my paper is two and a half inches. So I'm gonna put a mark there. Now I'm gonna make this line right here. Um, let's do a, so I'm gonna, get, I want this to be a little bit longer, so I'm gonna go one and a half inches. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the top. So I want a one inch, line here and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing. One inch line. So now I've got this figure Y, but I'm going to make a parallel line from here down to here. So this should, you should have two parallel lines now and then we're going to enclose that side. So I'm going to try to straighten my ruler and now I have a side. Okay, now from here, you can do the same thing. You want to keep that line right here. So I'm going to line it up and then I'm going to move down this line. All right, and then Make sure my ruler didn't move and I've got a side. Now what you have now should look like an open book. So now I've got two sides to my open book. And since we're doing an inch by inch, from right here, that's where my inch is gonna be. If you need to do this, you can do, to kind of help you, some dashes across. I did them white because I want to erase those. So from here, it should be a half inch, okay? So this dash should be right here. This is where the top's gonna be. So I know the top of my cube It's gonna be right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that that angle is correct. I'm gonna hold my ruler straight. All right, so there's my one side. So now I'm gonna close in my cube. And what I wanna do is I want a parallel line to this side. So I'm gonna hold my ruler and move it to where it stops at that corner, make a parallel line. So there's the top of my cube. If you need to erase a little bit there, I accidentally went a little too far, and erase it. All right, now we don't need these here. So now for the shading. So you're gonna pick a light direction. So it's gonna go here. You can also do a horizon line if that helps you. So I'm gonna make mine somewhere right here. Use your ruler, draw a horizon line, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna shade the whole thing, like the number two square in the value chart. All right, so in your sketchbook pages, I added that value chart. So that's what I'm referring to. You need to always refer back to that value chart. Okay, so right here's light. The light direction's coming this way. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter here. 
is the light should be hitting the top. So it's hitting my cube. And you can kind of blend that in. All right. So then my side's going to be slightly darker because the light's hitting it, but it's not direct. So I'm going to go slightly darker here. Again, I'm using the soft overlapping circles. Okay, now I have my two sides. So this side is going to be the darkest. And I'm still going to go in with that lightest shade, lightest value, and shade it in. So I've got it completely shaded. All right, so this is the side that does not see the light. So I'm gonna go back over and I can quickly do this. This should only take about 10 minutes. So I'm showing you a fast way. Draw a cube. Okay, so I'm getting darker and darker, but I feel like the light doesn't see this side. I need to get real dark. So I'm gonna start that blend. And remember, we are using overlapping circles. And some scratch marks have shown up. I've realized in drawing in the sketchbook um, I made impressions on each page. So what you do if that happens, you just kind of lightly try to go over, or you can skip a page and go to the next page and start over. So, all right, if you need to, I do some weird stuff sometimes. I turn my paper upside down and I shade and it helps me blend. So I'm gonna blend that line out. Looks like I put a line in there. If you do that, you just keep blending. So I want this my darkest corner. All right, and I'm gonna go in. It looks like I'm going back and forth, but I'm really moving real fast, and I'm going in overlapping circles. And it's going to be really dark around this edge. Not as dark, maybe up to the edge. But this one's going to be dark. All right. So I've got my darkest area shaded. Now we're going to kind of outline where our cast shadow might be. Might be kind of like right here. So you can do what we've been doing and you can do your number two fade. Okay. Blend. That gets your number two in. All right. Up against my cube. And you, if you don't want to blend that edge out, you can stir it with your finger or you can just keep going in overlapping circles. Or use a Kleenex. I like to just use overlapping circles. Get my light areas done. All right. So we remember we don't have any harsh outline to your cast shadow. 
Now I'm gonna just continue up against the edge. So I'm gonna go as dark as I can get it. All right, so this is what I get a lot, but don't leave that. We wanna blend that out. So we want kind of that hazy look around the shadow. And some people have a hard time doing that. So here's what you want. You wanna just continue blending that out. Blend the line. So if you can't get it blent out, then you can do something like this. All right. So there's that cast shadow. If you want it a little straighter, you can do this. So blend those edges out a little bit. If you want a better outline, you can clean up your edges. Go back with your ruler, clean up those edges a little bit. All right, so here's what your cube should look like. And if you feel like there's still some more blending to do, once you've looked at it, sometimes when you're in the process, you can't always see what you're doing. I think this is a good start. So I'm gonna upload, upload this one for y'all and um, use this as a practice tool. It looks a little distorted. It's the way this is laying, it's actually straight. And the way I've had to rig this tripod. So, I'm gonna call it good. Optical illusion. <laughs> So there's my cube, and this is what I need you to do today, and I will see you tomorrow.